better. Okay, so we are now down with our fifth pro tip video where I'm going to share some of the tips on how to use third-party plugins. So of course, the first thing that you need to know, something that you must know first before working with third-party plugins is how to actually add it here inside FL Studio. So as, I, as far as I can recall, I already included a tutorial on how you can customize add plugins inside FL Studio, how you can classify stuff according to plugins on their workflow tip video. And I really suggest that you go back there if you don't understand, if you don't know how to do it yet, because it's a mandatory thing. You need to know that before working on something like this. Okay, so let's dive in. The first thing you need to know about third-party plugins is that they're developed by companies outside ImageLine, such as the Sonic Academy. We have some plugins from WA Productions. We have some plugins from FabFilter, both Generator and Effect. We have some plugins from uh, Waves as well. We have plugins from ToonTrack, Music Lab, and a whole bunch of new companies that offers wonderful and good realistic sounding plugins. And just like any other beautiful things in this world, there are some drawbacks. There are some disadvantages when you use a third-party plugin. For example, right now I'm with Harmless. So what I can do with Harmless is that I can use this feature called the portamento and the slide. So pattern mode. But if I do that with a third-party plugin, in this case, Anna, it doesn't work. But there's a workaround. You can just drag it on the playlist. You can automate the pitch right here. Just like that. You can play it here. And that's it. That's the workaround. The second drawback when using third-party plugin is that you can't automate right away. So let me show that to you. So if I use harmless and I want to automate a certain parameter, let's say this DK right here, I can just right click and create an automation clip. Then there's your automation right there. You can now manipulate it. And, but if I use a third-party plugin, then there's more clicks. So if I want to automate this face, I, can, I can't right click it and choose create an automation clip. So what I can do is I can tweak this a little bit, go to tools, last tweak, and create an automation clip. And there's your automation right there. But there, all, there are also some cool stuff about um, third-party plugins. For example, this Easy Drummer right here, it has some multi-channel function, right? Where you can designate each and every element of this, this kick drum, we have the snare, we have the toms, we have the crashes, and we can designate that, we can assign that to different mixer tracks here inside FL Studio. So here's how to do it. You click this settings right here, you go to the settings right there, click processing and you can assign each and every one of this um, routes on the mixer. So let's activate the multi-channel function inside the plugin itself. You just click this multi-channel and you can go back to the settings and auto map outputs. Then there you go. So if you play the drum right there, you can now see it on our mixer. It's been routed on the mixer. Now you can mix them the way other mixing engineers mix a real drum. You can, you can apply reverb on the snare, you can apply some punchy kick on the, uh, punchy compression on the kick drum. You can apply some EQs on the toms, whatever you have in mind. You can also do that with contact. Contact also has that function. 
So for example, if I add a certain instrument, right? For example, this, um, we have the brass ensemble right here. We have the colossus, we have the woodwind ensemble. For example, I, ra I, I dragged some elements here. In this case, I won't be able to do that because contact is actually a CPU heavy software. So let's just leave that to the easy drummer. So what you can do is you can route it here. It's just an easy thing. And you do the same thing, just like what we did on the Easy Drummer. You can you can auto map all the outputs. And there you go.